I'm in love with you Baby, I can't let go No, I plead with you Do not give up on me now No matter what I'm here with you Cause you are the one I love No matter what I will never let you go So baby, take my hands and off with you why can't I say we are meant to be together? For peace to reign, we are meant to be together. If love is a crime, then I will be a victim. Cause I'm in love. Oh, oh, I got you. I got you, man. Okay. Where are we? Come on, let's go. We are home. We are home. This looks like a church. It's not a church. Why you bring me to the we church? We are home. Let's go. Why you bring me to the church? Hold yourself. Hold yourself. I see reverend sisters everywhere. I see reverend sisters. Look at that one. Come on, I got you. Come on. I got you. Okay. Ha! Offering time. Hold yourself. Come on. Offering time. Come on, say blessing time. Offering. I got you, man. Okay. Okay. I was expecting you to say that. You can learn blessings. You can hold yourself. Hold yourself. Hold yourself. Hold yourself. Hold him, you are the one who is not holding yourself. Stop. Hold yourself. Hold yourself. Those I've been around here, I can see candles everywhere. Oh, oh. What Chuka. a lovely place. Where did you find it? Oh, the same dividend place, right? Yes, he can do this. Yes, father. What's happening here? Can you see the fool you call your son? Excuse me. Who's that? Chuka. Is that the chief guard? Let me take you to your room. Come on. Uh, yes. Come on. Oh, one second. Pull me up. <clears throat> Nice. Chuka. Huh? Come on, let's go. Okay. Is that a cheap lad? What's this one? Chuka. Is that a cook? That's your mother. Is that a cook? Is that a cook? Come on, Chuka. Is that a cook? Father, well, I just greeted you and you didn't say a word. Does it actually mean you are very stupid? No, does it mean you will never become responsible in this life of yours? I don't understand. What? What did I do? You don't know what you did? No. My hey, you catch Hey, hey, please. Don't ever try to stand up for him on this. Don't. Does it mean you are very stupid or something? No, why do you go about denting the image of this family? Why? Father, what have I done? I mean, why are you sounding like this? Oh, I only went to drink last night. Is that why you're angry? Come on, we all drink. Is that supposed to make you angry or what? Why, I don't, I... Does it ever occur to you that you are a prince? Yeah. No, does it ever occur to you that you are from a royal household? Why do you go about the whole of this kingdom messing yourself up? Why? Why can't you be like your brother? No, had it been your brother that didn't bring you back last night, wouldn't you have continued drinking wherever you were? Oh, Father, please. 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 You can say anything, but do not compare me to my brother. You just said it. I am a prince. Allow me be a prince the way I choose to. You, you, you know what? I am, I am sick and tired of the stupidity of this son of yours. Listen, you are proceeding on vacation and you are leaving immediately. Hey, hey, hey! Don't say anything. I just gave an order that must be obeyed. Father. Hey, shut up. Shut up. Spend that time to think of what you actually want in your life. Maybe when you are back, we can sit down and have a conversation. Really? No, was it fair on me? 
when he came back in the middle of the night with drunk? Has he been fair on me the way he has been behaving in this kingdom? Listen to me. I just gave an order, and that order of mine stands. But father. Hey, Shikareza, please. Shikareza, don't say nothing. I don't want anybody to say a word on this. He is going on a vacation, and he is leaving immediately. Start talking. What do you mean by that? What do you mean, what do I mean by that? Can you stand before any sacred object or anything that can take your life and swear that this wasn't your making? Are you serious? Is that your impression about me? Deny it. No, go ahead. Deny it. You're enjoying all this, aren't you? Which part? The part that I had to carry you from the club. Barely managed to put you inside the car. Or the part that I had to do it over and over again, as if I'm your bodyguard or your chef. Which part? I never asked you for anything. You were just trying to do yourself a favor. Enough! Enough of that! Are you such an ingrate? See, you should be thinking of what to do with your life. Do you understand? Oh, now I see that you really need that vacation father suggested. And what are you trying to say? That you, <laughs> you, you are more intelligent than I am. It's not about intelligence. It's about family integrity. Father believes that you're just into alcohol. And if he gets to know that you are equally into drugs, he will disown you. What are you waiting for? If you have the nerves, the spine to blow that whistle on me, go ahead. Brother who doesn't see me as a brother. It's just my cross I have to carry. It's just a cross. Mother, you know me too well. You know I can be angry for so long. My father is just overreacting and you know it. Chuka, what is wrong? Why are you trying to destroy something both of us have worked very hard to achieve? Do you sometimes process certain things in your brain before you act them out? You're beginning to sound like my father. It was just a drink. I'm beginning to sound like your father. Just a drink, you said. Chuka, you drank yourself to stupor. I have told you times without number. You're a king in the making, so you have to learn how to handle yourself, especially outside the palace. It is obvious this one got you, Mother. I'm sorry. I promise you it won't happen again. Of course, darling. It won't happen again. Because I have gotten a guard that will follow you around wherever you go. What? You had signed... Come on, mother, am I a child? Am I a child that someone has to follow me around me? Well, I guess we don't have an option. Since you have refused to change, you brought it upon yourself. All right. I am going to end this madness before you execute it. I would have no fool follow me around all in the name of a bodyguard. If you have assigned anyone to follow me, 
ask that person to retreat else. I will shoot that person right in the chest. I am sure you know what I am capable of. Chuka, don't tell me you still have the gun. Well, I never told you or any other person that I have dropped my gun. Especially in this poorly secured country where kidnappers pick their subjects every day. I have my gun. And it's only a fool that will have the money to afford a gun and will not possess one. What do you think the elders of this kingdom would do if they got to hear that you have a gun? You think they'll give you a louder plus? No. Listen, Chuka, it is my duty as your mother to protect your life and your image. All right. Go in. Tell your husband that I, Prince Chuka, am going on no vacation. If he wants to set this palace on fire, I will supply the fuel. He said that to you. He really said that to you. What is wrong with this brother of yours? Does he know what it took us to haul him out of that pathetic place last night? He said that is that is the first of it. God! I just wish I was there. I would have given him a good punch on his head. He messes up and he blames it on you. That is the tragedy I live with every day. I blame it on you, Chica. You keep through letting his excesses. It is time you stood up to him and let him understand that you are a better man. Some told you, you know I cannot do that. Why would I resort to confrontation? I cannot do that. If I do that, they will say I want to play the role of first son. Why would you not? Aren't you the first son? Everyone in this land knows that you are the first son. And you all know one an apology if you decide to play your role. It's as if you've not noticed. I do not want trouble. Look. It only takes one word. Just one word to end all the silence battles. How long would you shy away from speaking that word? Some told you go. I do not know what you're talking about. I don't even want to think about it. I am not up for the trial. I've told you this before. Stop making me to repeat myself. We are lit, but of course, we are royalties. The commoners can come ahead of time and wait for us, not the other way around. I do not play the royal card, my dear Prince Obina. Besides, those people you call commoners have other things doing other than seating and waiting for the arrival of royalties. <laughs> well, that should not be a bother to you, my princess. Hmm? Moreover, the commoners are not complaining. <laughs> do you have to wait up until they start complaining before you do the right things? Besides, our parents are there and it is rude to keep them waiting. From my heart, 
I think you are elegantly made and qualified to keep any kingdom waiting. And not just a kingdom, the whole country. As a matter of fact, our parents will never complain. Hmm? We are running late already. Very well then. Ladies first. I didn't expect to see you here. What is going on? She crazy, where are you coming from? Oh, I went to see some touch with my friend. Why do I have this feeling that you are contributing towards this negative lifestyle your brother is living? Why? Father, I can't believe you're saying this. Why would you blame me for that? Am I responsible for his actions? She can say you are the first son. Are you not supposed to be providing leadership for your brother? Why are you not doing that? And I've been leading. I have been leading, Father. Why are you saying this? Is it because I want to say some touch with my friend? You see, if some touch is not a decent person, I wouldn't have made him my friend. Listen, I have not said anything about some touch with your friend. Neither have I said anything that suggests I see him as a bad person. Some Tonshuku is not the issue here. I am talking about your brother. When was the last time you called him to order? Father, I have been doing that. I know I am the eldest. But I cannot be blamed for another person's recklessness. Father, you talk so glowingly about me being the first son. But you are father. Have you ever played your role as a father? What? No, how can you say a thing like that? What am I supposed to do that I've not been doing? Do you actually think I will allow you to live this delusional life of yours? That you have no interest in the throne? Chikereze, you are my first son. You are the symbol of my youth. The throne of my fathers is yours. And there is no way you can stay away from it. Why are you always presenting yourself as if you have nothing to do with the throne. What? Father, why are you hell bent on me succeeding you? When you have another son who... And uh, who is that person, please? Who? Father, please. I am not ready for this discussion. Let me allow you to rest. Please. Please. Why am I so unlucky? The first son of a king is not interested in the throne of his fathers. Why will this happen to me? What in the world was that? What the hell was that? What effrontery? What right? Who gave him that right? Calm down, my princess. Calm down. Calm down? Do I look like I need one? <gasps> that man is a pain in my neck. Oh, what kind of human being behaves like that? My princess, relax. Why? Why? Of all the men, of all the men in the world, father chose that Lunatic, that peacock of a man for me. Oh, how does he even expect me to live with such a man for the rest of my life? You don't have to live with him or even see his face. Just come out clean, my princess. What do you mean by coming out clean? You know what I mean. Tell your father the truth. Okay, you and I know that will be suicidal. Father cannot handle that. But you don't love him. You can barely stand him. He's not right for you. You will suffocate if you end up with him. I'm sorry to say this, my princess, but I don't like him too. I don't like him at all. 
You have to speak up. If not, they will cement the relationship and you end up living a miserable life. I, I, I don't even know where to start from. Start from somewhere, my princess. Possibly by going to the king this night to tell him that you can't spend the rest of your life with a man like Prince Obina. Just start somewhere. Please. I don't know what to do. My princess. Your Majesty. Seems something is bothering you. Ever since I've arrived, you've not said anything. Onyeze, what is that thing that troubles your mind? Tell me about it so we can handle it. I want to initiate a royal marriage between the prince and the princess of Umweke Kingdom. I have come to the conclusion that such royal marriage will solve the problem that weighs me down. Mm -hmm. Your Majesty, to the best of my knowledge, the princess of Umweke Kingdom is the priestess of Abalaki deity. Yes, I know. And the prince is a progressive young man. I don't think he will have any problem marrying such a beautiful priestess. From what I know about her, she's always dressed in white attire. You have a problem with that? And there is this maiden that always stands beside her with a sacred mirror of Abalaike. Mm -hmm. Your Majesty, do you think in this modern world any young man will want to get married to such a woman with strange and complex style of living? Mm -hmm. Beneath those complexities you just mentioned lies a beautiful woman that will make a wonderful wife. Don't worry about my son. Eventually when they are married, he will begin to like her. You just said your son. Mm -hmm. Which of them are you referring to? Prince Shike, of course. He is the crown prince of this kingdom, is he not? Uh, yes, he is my king. Uh, but does he know about this? Mm, let's listen. Uh, I will bring him in at the appropriate time. But now I call you as your no because I want you to take some elders to the palace of Umweke people. Meet with Eze and Okonwa. Relay my proposal to him. And uh, you give me a feedback. We can pick it up from there. As it pleases you, my king. How could he do something like this? Why would he? He said Chike told him that he's not interested in the throne. So why is he forcing him to succeed him? I will not let this happen. It can't happen. Not while I am still alive. Did he give you any reason why he urgently wants to initiate royal wedding with the people of Umweke? Apparently, he believes that is the best thing to do for the kingdom mm -hmm. and a way of strengthening the royal bond. Well, it is not such a bad idea. But which of the princes are we talking about here? Prince Tiki, of course. Eh? Uh, who else? No, no. That boy is not the right choice to succeed his father. No. He lives a like a desical style of life and he cares less about what goes on in this kingdom. But he's the head prince. He should succeed his father. And that is how custom and tradition instituted it. Hmm. Oh, no, you know it is a suicide mission for that boy to succeed the king. He is one of those young men of Igbo land that look down on traditional institutions. Uh, Ichike. Yes. 
But you're not the only one that has this same view about him. But his father believes otherwise. <sighs> he has sent us on a mission to Umweke. And we must go and deliver. Whatever opinion you hold, hence here. When we get there, you must carry yourself as an emissary of the king. Where? Oh no. He has spoken. What chance have I? But at least I must have made my point known. I know he is inside to match. You know, it's always glorious beholding your beauty. A gentleman is supposed to be on his feet when a lady walks into a room. <laughs> mm. My princess, you see, I am the true definition of royalty. Yes. All those rules are not meant for people like me. I will stand for kings and not subjects. Get them off the table. What? Oh, my feet. <laughs> Forget about those. Come sit. Um, let's talk about us. Uh, my feet are perfectly where they are supposed to. Really? They're not in my father's palace. Get them off this minute! Princess, did you just raise your voice at me? Oh, yes, I did. Now, let me ask you. Did you path ways with your manners, or you don't just have them at all? How can you come into a palace like this and have your dirty legs on the table? Who does that? Hmm. A palace like this? What do you have in this palace that I do not have? By the way, I sat the way I sit everywhere. Oh, everywhere, but not here. This is that palace where I, the princess, defines the code of conduct around here. By the way, what are you doing here? I do not remember us having any appointment. Well, I do not have to get an appointment to see my bride. You of all people know that. Obina, why are you here? As you can see, I'm off to somewhere. I need to be going already. Princess Zara, if you do not like this alliance, I think you should talk to your father instead of venting your anger on me. But then again, you won't. Because that man might die of heart attack. And you know why. Oh, I do know why. I will certainly will not see your face around here again. That is, if it eventually happens. Not if. Of course, it will happen. You see, your father assured my father of that. Zara, you are mine. So I suggest you start getting used to this face. And yes, my attitude, of course. Because you'll be seeing more of it when we get married. <sighs> By the way, I came here so we could um, go out to somewhere. But I see your mood is just um, not good. So I'll let you be. Hmm? I'll take care of myself. Maybe some other time. <sighs> By the way, good wine. Try and smile. It looks better than you. Hmm? Have a good day, princess. <laughs> hmm? 
My princess, <sighs> the car is ready. My princess, are you okay? Did he say anything to you? I'm fine. I won't let him ruin my day. Let's go. Really? Father wants to do that? I think that's a welcome development. Welcome development, you said? Were you actually listening to what I was saying? Of course I did listen to what you said. Including the part that your father wants to get Jiki to marry the princess of Umweke Kingdom, which would of course give him an urge to succeed him as, as the king. Mother, I heard all you said. What do you want me to do? You want me to walk up to the king? Tell him that I disagree with his plans for his son. Come on, mother. It's not always about the throne. Moreover, you and I know that Chike is not in tune with our tradition. I believe that is why father wants him to marry a princess who is also a priestess. I think I like that idea perfectly. You know, I never realized you were such a big fool. Uh, people don't really like Chike because of the kind of politics I've been playing against him. But that doesn't mean he does not stand a better chance to the throne than you. Because you see, first, he is the first son of the king. And then secondly, his union to the prince of Umweke, who happens to be not just a princess, but a priestess, gives him an urge over you. Mother, why are you bothering yourself over nothing? Why are you blowing this out of proportion? Are you telling me that you believe that the people of Umwakwalanbi, especially that Onowu, will choose me over my brother? Chuka, dear son, I am already working on something. I bet you the people would never accept Chike. And soon you will know the kind of mother you have. Well, talking about the Onowu, yes, he can be quite dreadful. But guess what? He's got a prize. Sincerely, I don't know how to present this. But the truth is that I am indeed very happy. <laughs> Your Majesty, does that mean you already know the outcome of our visit to Umweke? Exactly. As Anokonwa already called me, we discussed extensively. He has given his consent. In fact, his daughter has given her approval. That is why I'm excited. <laughs> I am surprised that he played us. How do you mean? He said nothing to us. But he called you to give his consent. That is not how a man in authority should behave. Well, if you please, I want you to forgive him. Mm. The most important thing is that finally he has given his uh, consent. And I wouldn't want us to delay anything now. I want you to set the machinery in motion for the introduction to take place as soon as possible. Anyway, I don't have any problem with that. But how do we proceed? Is your Muka? Your Majesty. Right here, right now, I appoint you the chairman of the planning committee. Get in touch with the royal family of Umweke. Let them give you a list of the things that are required for the introduction. We pick it up from there. At your service, Your Majesty. Oh no, Your Majesty. Please extend my warm regards to Ishii Ike. As Anukwongwa already told me how he eloquently presented this matter. In fact, it was his presentation that made the man to give his consent, and I am so excited. In due time, I am going to reward everyone. Thank you, Your Majesty. I'm happy this worked out. <laughs> Corinne, you just do not understand. That's exactly how I want it. No arguments, nothing. Now listen to me, Corinne. I, I want the best. This is a royal wedding we're talking about, not some poolside party. Exactly. Now you get my drift. Okay then. Hoping to hear from you soon. These people are always the same. Good afternoon, Your Majesty. Oh, 
we are finally back. Where have you been? I mean, you've been gone for almost three weeks now. You ask us if you care. Anyway, I went on a business trip. Well, it's a good thing you're back. You got back early enough. Um, the designer will be coming by 4 p.m. today, so just get yourself ready. Your Majesty, in our quest to start the process, we ran into troubled waters. And that is why it appears as if the speed has reduced. Ran into troubled waters. Wait, what does that mean? The princess has insisted on a meeting with the prince. According to her, she cannot just get married to someone whom she doesn't know. So she demands to meet with the prince before taking further step. And if you ask me, my king, her demand is right. A woman who is preparing to carry the weights of a man most nights, if not all nights, should know the man inside and out. There is no reason whatsoever for anybody to misunderstand that poor princess. As far as I'm concerned, the prince lives I don't care life. He does not care about what happens in our land. The princess of Agbaleke he intends to marry will surely want to know the kind of a person she wants to spend the rest of her life with. That is okay. If that is what the princess wants, then she's going to get that. I don't waste my money on designers. So why should I wait for one by 4 p.m.? GK, you are so local. What is wrong with having a designer? Anyway, this one is a special thing. As the groom, you need to dress well. So that is why you need the designer. 4 p.m. is the time. I don't understand what you're saying. Which wedding are you talking about? Uh-oh. Don't tell me you don't know about the wedding. Anyway, it's not for me to say. I think you need to have uh, some discussion with your father. Hello? I'm sorry, Your Majesty, but I'm not happy. Why? Prince Chike, the only son of my only blood sister, is getting married to someone as elevated as the priestess of Abaleke of Umweke, and I'm not involved in any way. Hmm. I'm not happy about that. I am sorry to interrupt this meeting, but I really need to know what is going on. Uh, can, can you just excuse us, Chicken? I am going to explain everything to you much later. Father, no. We are talking here, right here, right now. What is the meaning of this marriage that everybody is talking about? Who approved it? Who? Um, and who are the people involved in it? Uh, that's in council, please. I want to ask for a favor. Can you please excuse us? My son and I, 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 will, I will get back to you. Indiche, what do you think will happen in there? What oh, is was an obvious fight? I was actually wondering why this secret has not leaked before now. It took longer than I expected. Hmm. Let us pray that our king does not get a heart attack again. Jake, I suggest you watch what you say. Ochiri, try as much as you can eh, to be blind to this. None of us here is. You of all people should know the level to which that nephew of yours can throw tantrums. Especially when he's angry. I want us to be silent. 
something is really happening in this royal home and men that sit in council she'll understand what is going on father how could you take such decision without my permission we as if taking your permission we need anything good really you took the decision without my permission and you think you have the right a incident i have absolute right to decide on anything in this family i am not just the king i am your father and i can decide on the good and the benefit of this household then do it right i want the business cheap just for two weeks all you have to do is to arrange marriage for me listen it is for your own good oh stop saying that stop saying it's for my own good i've never seen a father who would take his son to be slaughtered without giving him a clue now well, listen young man listen i am your father and i am the king of this kingdom like i said originally this is for your good now take it you are getting married to princess adugo of umeke kingdom and this is final with due respect father i am not going to get married to the princess I even got that she's a priestess. She's a priestess. I am not going to do that. I will get married when I am ready and to the woman of my choice. Are you challenging me? Oh, I am not challenging you, Father. But I am trying to make myself clear in a way devoid of ambiguity. Father, stay away from my personal life. Stay away. I've told you this before. I am not interested in your throne. If this is why you went to find a wife for me, you misfired. Because I am not going to do that. Now, now listen to me, young man. Listen to me, young man. What I see sitting, you cannot see even if you climb a tree. That throne is yours. Because you are my first son. Is there any other way you want me to explain that? Father, that is not true. That is not true. You have another son. Let him succeed you. Give it to him. I do not want. Listen, young man, this is not a choice you have to make. It is something already established even before you were born. Just like I didn't have a choice when you threw my mother out of your life. I am no longer that little boy you used to know. I am now a grown man. I am not going to marry anybody you find. Churchill, you are conniving with my father to humiliate me and you still want me to see you as my uncle. I wasn't aware of all this until today. I'm just as surprised as you are. These elders will bear me witness that I registered my disgust when I heard it. It's okay. Now I know. Um, but... Um, uncle. Please. Just anyway, I have to go now. Nothing is hidden under the sun. Nothing, nothing. Nothing is covered under the sun. Nothing, nothing. 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 nothing is hidden under the sun. Nothing, no matter how you hide it or how you cover it, nothing is hidden under the sun. Nothing. That was harsh. Did he give you reasons? <laughs> what else? But to make me eligible for the throne. I mean, why could he do that to me? Okay, you know he's not just your father, he's a king. Oh, Santo, please do not give me that. Upon what he did to me, even as I'm trying to forget and forgive how he treated my mother, he pulls the stunt. You, you have to stop reading so much meaning into this. This man is only watching out for you. How? By imposing a woman on me? What kind of a father do, does that? Huh? What kind of a father does that? No, tell me. He hated my mother. And I hate him too. 
he has not regretted the demonic treatment he gave to my mother. And my mother would not be happy with me if I did not flog that king into line. Hey, hey, hey. You're making a very weighty statement here. Let's do less of this politics and discuss the real thing. I don't understand where you're coming from. What do you mean by real thing? Zara is the real thing. You love her and you cannot deny that. And as your friend, I know she's the only woman that can make you do what you never wanted to do. That is love. Brace up to the king and tell him about this. Do not square up to the king of Umapalarin because you know he would crush you. Suntochku, watch the kind of words you employ. What do you mean by he will crush me? He will crush me because I told him the truth? Kings in this part of our world are the gross summation of the truth. Truth is what the hold as truth and falsehood is what the hold as falsehood. You should know that by now, my friend. He found that princess for you and you're already in love with another. Humbly tell him about your princess. He would understand. Hmm. Now I see your point. But the princess Zara in question doesn't know my real identity. Because you have not told her. And you've not told her because the opportunity has not presented itself. That opportunity is here now. Take it before a great one king imposes a woman on you. And trust me, my dear friend, your brother though cannot save you from the power of a king. I just got off the phone with Igwa Nyakor. Your engagement to Prince Obina is coming up in two weeks and it will be held in their sacred Obi. That place has a long history. It is where all their kings are crowned. And from the way you sound, it is a wonderful appointment you fixed. Of course. They would have brought it here, but they decided to engage you in that sacred place of theirs. Well, personally, I like it. I intend to bring the Nigerian Television Authority so as to beam it live on national television. But the last time you told me about this king, you told me he has some serious health issues and still recuperating. Why are you talking about engagement now? No, the king is fine. He's hell and hearty. As a matter of fact, he personally called me to notify me of this engagement. And like I said, it is coming up in two weeks and you have to prepare your mind. But father, I... Oh, Zara, please. I don't want you to argue this. I am your father and I will not deceive you. I want the best for you. Prince Obina is the best for you. He will take care of you more than any man would. The way you talk about this Prince Obina. Mm. <sighs> Father, excuse no, me. No, you need not worry. Relax. I have something important to attend to. Have a nice day. So what do I owe this unpleasant early morning call? A very happy morning to you, morning star. Am I not blessed to have you as my future queen? You are the most beautiful woman I have ever led my Cut life. Cut the crap, Obina. Why have you called? Well, by the sound of your voice, I think you already heard. I call to say congratulations, my future queen. For lack of a better way to say it, I am going to say it directly. I will not marry you, Obina. You two experiments. Yes. My dear, we are married already. 
two weeks from today, you will be forever stuck with me. And then, I will not have to resist myself anymore. I will explore your beautiful body and trust me, my princess, the love that will form in Oh well, congratulations. One of the gods said, he instructed that I should not sleep without seeing you. I am here. Sike, when the antelope decides to run strangely, then we must decide to shoot strangely at it. Sike, I gave that instruction because I want to specifically tell you that you must run off with whatever business you have today and be back in this palace before 6 p.m. Father, why? I want to believe you are not expecting that innocent woman to get married to a total stranger that she knows nothing about. The princess of Umeke Kingdom is going to be here in this palace today for an interactive meeting with you and that meeting is scheduled for 6 p.m. today. Father, the people that fixed that appointment should go ahead with it. They should go ahead and deal with it. It has nothing to do with it. Hey, listen. Do not always undermine my benevolence. That meeting is holding in this palace today by 6 p.m. And you must attend. Are you going to state why you are here? Or are you here simply to see it and stare at me? Do you think he's going to like it? Are you hoping he does not? That's not what I'm saying. I, I, I really don't know what to say, you know? He's my son. No, 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 I never said otherwise. He is your son, yes, you are the mother. So I expect you to know that what I am doing here is something that we, you know, something that is good for his future. I know it will be good for his future, but I actually want the best for him. If this alliance is not going to bring him happiness and peace, then I think we should call it off. You know, that, that's what you need for a child, what is best. You know, that is where you go wrong. Every single thing I have done, I have done for his happiness and for his future. But... Hey, listen, listen. Have you not noticed? An increasing number of our people see him as being nonchalant to all the things that happen in this land. They, they believe that he has no iota of respect for our traditional institution. What I am doing actually is something that will make him to regain that confidence he has lost in the eyes of other people. Your Highness, what if he has somebody of his own? No, no. Someone he's in love with? Listen, in this issue, he has no right to have anybody. I am the one that will tell him what he wants and that is what I've done. He doesn't just need anybody. He needs somebody that will make the people respect him. But... Uh, listen, that is why I have found the princess of Umeke Kingdom, who happens to be the priestess of the Abaleke deity. That is the kind of woman he needs, and that is the kind of woman I have found for him. But... Hey, have... listen, enough of Shikareza, please. Let us talk about Shuka, your own son. Where is he? 
for almost a week I have not set eyes on him. I order that he proceed on a vacation to recreate himself. And you pleaded with me that we should allow him to stay here. I listen to you. Now he is nowhere to be found. Did he eventually proceed on that vacation without my notice? But I just felt I needed to do this for my son, Shike. You know how nonchalant he has been? You owe me no apologies, my king. You are his father. I know you are doing whatever you can to keep him focused. But do you think this is what he wants? I mean, his opinion about this would have been better than hanging that girl around his neck. Listen to me, Oshiri. Part of the reasons I called you. His opinion on this means absolutely nothing. We know the person we are talking about. There is nothing that will ever make him to get ready for this. Hmm. He will not ever be ready. So somebody has to do it for him. And that is what I did. You can't be so sure about that, my king. Oshere, we are talking about my son. Mm -hmm. I know him inside out. As I said before, I did this for him. I actually called you here because I want to solicit for your support in mm -hmm. this. You are his uncle. And I know there is something you can do. I want to engage your services. And I want to engage your services on your own terms and conditions. So that you will work with me on this. For us to achieve this objective. If you can talk to me, then we are good to go. So how was the meeting? It was fine. Very fine. I am still wondering why you chose this place. That's the only place I think I can ask you what troubles you. Any problem at the office? I never said there is. Why did you ask? Mm. Why do I have this feeling that you're lying to me? You see, a man who is a man will always face challenges and difficulties. But to make all those go away, only you, there will never be any other. I love you with every bit of my heart. And I love you too. Let's just, just run away with me. What did you just say? Run away with me. Um, um, listen. We both know that the communities we came from do not see each other eye to eye. What do you think that our parents will do when they get to know about our relationship? I, I, I can't. I can't elope with you. What do you think they would do if they get to find out that we took off? I, 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 I can't. Just, I love you, yes, but I, I, I can't separate you from your father. Jesus, what do you suggest we do? Watch them push us to another that we do not know? Watch them marry us off to people who do not love? Is that what you want? Running away is not an option. It's not an option. Chisa, I love you. And I cannot live without you. No matter what I'm here with. Cause you are the one I love No matter what I will never let you go So baby take my hands and go.
Hold it right there. And give me the explanation you know I seek. Where are you coming from? Obina, please. I do not have time for this. Please. Don't you dare take another step, Zara. Don't you dare walk out on me. I am still talking. Where are you coming from? I called you severely and you did not take my calls. Neither did you return them. I have been seated here waiting for you. Waiting for who and for what exactly? Isn't it excruciating enough to be engaged to you at short notice? Yet, you annoy me further by showing your face all the time. Now let me ask you, don't you have better things doing than driving all the way down here all the time? Just let me be. Jesus! What has become of you? Is this how I tell you? You talk to your husband to be in such a manner? No, not yet. Oh, shut up! Shut up! I won't allow you to insult him. Do you know how long he has been glued to that seat waiting for you personally? I expected you to appreciate him and be nice. Your attitude is beginning to infuriate me. Uh, uh, Obina, I apologize on her behalf. She's been a little on an edge lately. Uh, that doesn't mean that I appreciate her insulting you. I will talk to her. She will definitely come around. All your highness, I... It's not a problem. I believe she's getting the jitters. No. Yes, and um, I understand. She will come around. No, I, I, I am happy you understand. <laughs> I did not hear what you just said, my princess. He wants us to run away. Who? The one I love. He just wants me to be okay and we're gone. Away from this place. From everyone who doesn't want us to be together. But I, I can't. I can't, okay. I don't know what to do. I can't even tell him that my father has made this an impossible mission. I feel like I have the answer to my questions. Yet, I can't even approach the answers right. In all honesty, I'm, I'm confused. And that fool who calls himself Prince Obina isn't making things easy. You have to ponder more on this, my princess. You have to reflect on this whole thing. There's always a way out. Trust me, I know you can handle this.
Is it not clear? There is a grand conspiracy against me. They are ganging up against me. They are right, Ochike. They are right. You are so nonchalant about this issue. What do you expect from the people? So what do I do? Wake up, Chike. Wake up. You are the head prince of Omar Balangri. You are the one to succeed your father on that throne. I know. I can surrender this position to my brother. Are you such a fool? The head prince of Omo Alangri to surrender his birthright to his younger brother. Where would you have when that happens? You see, this is not the first time this kind of a thing is going to happen. My father, to the best of my knowledge, is not the first son of his father. Yet, my grandfather chose him as the best candidate for the throne. Are you listening to yourself? You now see a drunk who is bereft of manners as better than yourself. Honestly speaking, Chike, sometimes I think you may have banged your head against something. Maybe a wall, pillar or pole. That's why you behave like a moron. What's going on with you, Chike? What happened? You were not like this. This is not you. You used to be one lively, intelligent boy. What changed? I grew up, Uncle. I became a man. I'm no longer a boy. That is it. You grew up. You grew up and became stubborn and bitter. Especially towards your father. I don't believe that. Something happened. Talk to me. I'm your uncle. You know, my sister died a miserable and painful death. It still hurts till now. But she left with one hope and goal. That you succeed your father on that road. How do you think she's feeling now, wherever she is? Turn down that. <clears throat> I didn't even have the chance to see her for the last time. How am I supposed to know her wishes for me? I can't believe the nerves of those elders. How could they make such a decision while your father is still lying on a sick bed? Some told you, you don't understand what is going on. This skinny bitch has had her way through them. She has bought them, and they are now speaking her exact words. Are you serious about this? Yeah. So she can go this S then just because of the throne? After all she did to me and my family, soon I am going to skin her alive. I am going to make her cry blood, I swear to you. And where is this coming from? When did you start talking like this? My mother's last wish is for me to succeed my father. I never heard of that until today. My uncle just left here. And that's what he told me. Sumto, I am not very mean. I will see to the end of this. I'm happy. I enjoyed that food, it was good. <laughs> you know, your culinary skills really amaze me. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm glad you like it, Your Majesty. Like it? I love it. I don't know where you picked it up from, but I love it. Thank you. You know, you'll actually make a wonderful one. <laughs> your Majesty, you don't have to thank me. You know, I am glad I am able to be here with you in these trying times. Oh, that's <laughs> good to hear. That's thank good to you, hear. Your Majesty. Thank you so much. Oh, 
Your Majesty. Yes, dear. Would you mind if I massage your legs for you? Please don't bother. She's very good with her job. No, Your Majesty. Yes. Yeah, I worked in a spa in my first year in school, so I learned some few things. Oh, permit me to do the magic oh, Really? All right then. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. So you go ahead. Yeah. Skills you got. <laughs> oh, hi, son. You're back. Yes, I'm back, mother. How are you? Uh, good, and how was your day? Beautiful. Oh, oh meet Ifunanya. I don't know who's the um, last doctor. Ifunanya, my son, Chuka. Nice to meet you, my friends. All right, good afternoon. I am not sure I've met this face before, mother. Oh, that's because she's in the university. She hardly comes home. Most of the holidays she spends in Enugu with her siblings. Oh, all right. And Prince Chuka, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. And mother? Yes. Why was she massaging you? Oh, well, she told me she picked up a couple of skills from a spa when she was in her first year in the university. So I guess she's uh, practicing on me. But oh. guess what? She's a great cook. And she will take good care of you when you both get married. Say that again. Sorry? Marriage. Uh-huh. <clears throat> Marriage between both of you. Um, I'm sorry, Your Majesty. Who is marrying who? Both of you are getting married. What? You mean your father didn't tell you? My father is aware of this. Uh, uh, can I please? Thank you. Hello? Yeah. Are you serious? Alright, please just hold on for me. I'm coming right there. Right. I said I'm, I am coming right there. Alright. And what's the problem? Let me call you back. What's the problem? No problem, mother. Nothing I can handle. I'll see you later. Is there a problem? Not really something I can take care of. You sure? You need to, um... Your Majesty, I, I beg to take my leave. You're leaving too? <laughs> Is there something going on with Simple Doctor? That is the least of my problems now. That can yes. be the least of your problems. What if it has a link with the scheme you're talking about? Hello? I am on my way now. Just distract them. I am coming. Yes, I'm coming. What is it? What's that? Question, Father, is it true? What kind of stupid question is that? It is not a stupid question, Father. The Queen said something to me today about her son and I getting married. Oh, she did? Is there any problem with that? This is unbelievable. You're not even denying it. Denied what? Denied what? That the prince found favor in you and wants to spend his life with you? It doesn't seem so to me, Father, because the prince seems to be in the dark just as I was until today. Well, Ifunaya, there is nothing to affirm or deny. 
It is good as you have had it. So you are getting married to the prince? Since who? And who made that decision? You will make the decision, Ifunaya. Where you refuse to make the decision, I, Onohu of Umwapalandi, will make the decision for you. Well, you have already made the decision, and that was why I was able to hear about what you and the queen have decided. But let me make one thing clear. I don't love the prince. I have someone else in my life. Someone who is better than Prince Tuka, who is going to be the next king of this kingdom? Uh, Ifunaya, wait, let me ask you something. Are you allergic to good things? If all my own side have four. Eh? Are you allergic to good things? Your father, in his magnanimity, has given you this opportunity to become the next queen of this kingdom. I want to turn it down. Ifunaya, are you sure I am the one that gave birth to you? You were questioning my paternity because of this? And why did you refer to that, that notorious drug addict as the coming king? Indeed, he is the coming king. That candidate you are pushing forward, Prince Chuka, whatever his name is, is nowhere close to that throne. Because there is a Prince Chiki who exhibits maturity and who is... Who is a moron that holds the position of the crowned prince? Father... Are you no longer the decisive Uefi Uyo Melonandu? How can you allow that woman to buy you? What do you mean? The queen wouldn't have reached that agreement of me getting married to her son without you playing a part in whatever she has up her sleeves. How much did she pay you? And what makes you think I was paid? Ifunaya, when will you learn to be appreciative and be grateful in life? Not all girls have this luck. I don't need that kind of luck, father. Eh? The next time you want to sell me off, please do let me know. If you come back here. Come back here. Foolish girl. Oh, you want me to miss this opportunity of becoming the father of the next queen of this kingdom? It will not work for you. Royalty is already knocking on my door. My door is wide open for it to come in. I'm not married to you. You must become the queen of this land. Anwaya. So when are you going to tell him? When he's up on his feet. You know you're one rare brother I've seen in my life. No matter how much you hate his mother, you love him so much. You know you cannot hate some species of beautiful flowers because of the tons they bear. He's my brother and I'm doing this for him. It's back. It looks like I'll call you back. I'll call you back. Honestly, Chike, my life is a mess. A complete mess. What is all this thing? You know, sometimes I wish this thing called royal blood doesn't exist around me. Sometimes I wish it doesn't flow through my vein. My life would have been a lot better. Things would have been a lot easier. Why would you say a thing like that? She does not want me. She does not want to be with me. Wait. You are this wrecked. Because of a woman? Huh? Oh, Chuka, come on. Come on. When will you stop doing this to yourself? Please, Chike, do not try to rub this in. You know very well that I've been asked, warned, never to fall in love with her. You know that. She has consumed me. She has taken a greater chunk of my life. But you know what the problem is? Every day of my life I have tried to find this girl. But she is nowhere to be found. Wait, let me get something here. You don't even properly know this lady very well and you are so much attached to her. Who is she? That's the point, Chike. 
I don't even know her name. But one thing I know for sure is that she's an amazing woman. If not the most amazing woman I have ever set my eyes on. Father Lord, I admit I am a sinner. Forgive me this once. I promise if I can set my eyes on this girl again, I will serve you the way no man, no man on earth has ever served you that way. Please, Lord. Chuka, Chuka, are you sure you're all right? Are you sure? Somebody that you don't even know. You just met her. You don't even know her name. And because of her, you got drunk. You see, Chike, I thought you could be of help. But it is obvious that you don't want to help. Excuse me. <laughs> Strange obsession. Isn't that the best way to describe this? wrong with you? What has suddenly come over you, Mama, Chuka? why are you shouting? No, tell me. Why are you shouting? Is it because of that girl? I am not going to marry that girl, if not whatever her name is called. It's not difficult for you to understand. Chuka, you lie. Oh, at least you remember her name. Chuka, you must marry her because her father, oh no, has put in so much to ensure that you become the next king and not your half-baked brother. So getting married to that girl is the price I must pay. Oh, please. She's not just a girl. She's a good girl. And I like her. And I haven't said otherwise. All I am saying is that I will not marry that girl. Moreover, she is not even enthusiastic towards me. So can we just leave it at that? Uh, no, it's not possible to leave it like that. You know what? You will marry Ifunaya or no one else. Really? Is there some kind of edit? You know, detect everything that happens in my life now? <laughs> I am your mother, and I know what's best for you. You will marry that girl. Now, do you know what Onohu has at stake? He is the one supporting us, backing us. Now, if you want power, when I say power, I mean power. We need support for all nooks and crannies, and Onohu has got that to give to us. So, you can't disappoint me now. Do you understand me? You must do it! And what is going on here? And what does it seem like is going on here? I am talking to my son, damn it! Exactly. Then lower your voice and speak to him Ex like a gentleman. Actually, he's not far from you and can hear you clearly. Please, I am very busy inside and I wouldn't want to get disturbed. Oh, please. Clever. My please. My please. My please. The king is awake. He just opened his eyes. Hey, that's a I want to thank you all for your goodwill messages and your prayers while I was down. But it was not actually a serious issue. A heart attack, whether major or minor, can kill your majesty. Thank God you survived. Thank you, Onohu. I appreciate how you handled the affairs of this kingdom while I was away. I have been informed of the meeting that was held in my absence and the decision you took. I understand where the elders we are coming from and I am delighted. Oh no, sincerely, I am glad to finally see you can handle the affairs of this kingdom when I'm not there. Thank you very much. Thank you, Your Majesty. Most importantly, uh, this meeting is for my son, Shike. There is something he wants to say to the elders in council. Shike, mm. uh, you may rise. <clears throat> oh, also, God, man. I put you off. No, welcome, yes. I know you're surprised to see me. 
I can see the surprises and the shock on your faces and the question going through your minds. Mm. A lot of people said a lot of things about me. Some said I am a loafer. Some said I am incompetent. Some said I am nonchalant towards our culture and the tradition of Umu Balanri Kingdom. All that is true. But I've decided to take the responsibility due to me in this kingdom. Father, I have decided to succeed you. <laughs> but on one condition. What is it? What is the condition? I am going to choose my bride myself. And by that, I want to assume you found one already, right? Yes, Father. Good. Good. I don't have a problem with that. Uh, invite the woman, present her before me. I want to meet her. No, it's okay. Good. But sit down. Mothers, thank you. What about Princess Adobo? Don't they find this utter act of Prince insulting? Oh no, that is not an issue at all. The royal household of uh, Umweke already cancelled the engagement even before my son took his decision. They cancelled it based on a rumor that was not even verified. They didn't seek any clarification from us. They took that decision. Personally, I will fix a meeting with the king of Umweke to clarify issues and then streamline everything in a way that all of us will be on the same page. But right now, I want us to proceed with the decision my son just took. I have my consent. Thank you, Father. My princess, it's time. Your Majesty said he would drive himself. Tell Father I will be with him shortly. Yes, my princess. Do you need anything? Water, juice. I'm fine. It's just... It's just that... This isn't right. How could he confess his love for me? Told me he would fight for me only to allow this day to happen. Going back to that will make you shed tears. It will ruin your face, my princess. You don't have to be demoralized on a day such as this. But I do not love Obina. My father is taking me to the sacred Obi of their land. The same place they crown their kings. I will be pronounced the wife of the prince and the future queen of their land. I will live in sorrow all my life. No, my princess, you will not. God will find a way for you. He's a source of happiness and somehow he will find a way to make you happy in that union. Trust me, he will never fail you. told me he wants her to drive it. 
Yes, he refused to open the gate. So I have to help myself. I'm a royalty. And a royalty shouldn't be treated like that. The guy at the gate told me he wanted to drive it. Yes, he refused to open the gate. So I have to help myself. I am royalty and shouldn't be treated that way. I'm so sorry about that. It's okay. So who exactly are you or what are you doing here? My name is Chike. I'm a friend to Zara. She knows I'm coming. I'm here to see her. I'm afraid that won't be possible. Today's her engagement. She should soon be held with her father, the king. You shouldn't show your face here today. What engagement are you talking about? Greetings, Your Majesty. Greetings. May your reign remain forever. And who is he? He said his name is Chiki, a member of an undisclosed royal house. He said he said to see the princess, Your Majesty. Your Majesty, my name is Chike. Prince from Umar the Kingdom. I know the princess must have told you about me. Zara. Chiki. How are you? You. You finally came. You? Listen. Leave this compound before I kill you. What gave you the guts to come into my palace? Father, please don't say that. He's the man I want. And now that is her. I am sorry. I will no longer proceed to Akiyi with you. What did you just say? Zara, what did you just say? Listen, young man. Leave this compound before I kill you. Get out! Hey, sh come on, stop. Get out! It's okay, sir. I said leave! Hey, hey, geez, Adam. hey come with me. So what do I owe this ungodly visit? How dare you? How dare you ruin the sanctity of my palace by laying your cursed feet on the soil of Mubalari? How dare you? It is the scoundrel of your son that has defiled the sanctity of my revered palace by setting his accursed feet therein. Where is he? Bring him out! Listen, my son is too occupied with a whole lot of things to waste his time befriending people of Home Warfare. You know that yourself. He is my son and he is the prince of this kingdom. He understands our custom and our tradition. And there is no way he will ever belittle himself by befriending your people. So in peace, I'm going to ask you right now, leave. I believe you're right. You are indeed right. Because my daughter would have been happily married to the prince of Aki if not that your son disrupted that engagement. Where is he? I know you are hiding him within the confines of this palace. Bring him out! I don't know what you are talking about. But let me remind you that my son is too civilized to be responsible for this crime you accuse him of. I see. Can you know that? It means you don't even know the riffraff you have as a son. Listen, old friend. Our kingdoms have been able to maintain their territorial boundaries over the time. I do not intend to be here. Tell your son to provide my daughter, else the people of Umar Arani will feel our wrath. It's a promise, and I intend to keep it. I still can't believe the extent this boy went to prove irresponsibility. Has he gone insane or something? Obviously, Your Highness, he has gone insane. I mean, what are we talking about here? He knows exactly what he's doing. Okay, he knows that there's a fuse that exists between the people of Umar Malanri and Umofo. Yet, he decided to go against tradition. He knew what he was doing. He just wants to infuriate you and humiliate you. That's exactly what he's doing. I wouldn't want to believe any of this until I hear from my son. Excuse me, Your Highness. 
until you hear from your son? What proof do you need to know that he has done exactly what we're talking about? Okay, I'll give you a proof. You see, my son here, Chuka, has been calling him on the phone. But guess what? It's unreachable. If he wasn't guilty of what we're accusing him of, your highness, his phone should be on. But he knows what he's doing. Oh, that guy. He's getting worse with each passing day. He's actually worse than his mother. Hey, enough! Look, actually, enough of this. You know what? I want you and your son to just leave me alone. You're heartless. Yeah, hey, just say something, please. Leave with your son. What do you mean you do not know where he went to? The princess chose today to humiliate me. Now the king has gone missing. Will somebody talk to me now? Where is he? Your Majesty. Your Majesty. Did you find her? Where is she? I'm just coming from the palace of the king of Umapalangri. He is not aware of the prince's action. Neither is he aware of his relationship with Zara. Oh. Your Highness, how is that supposed to make me feel? Huh? The princess ran out on our engagement. Now that is an insult to my personality, and I will not take that. Will you shut up? Enough! Sometimes when you rant, I wonder if you had adequate home training. Find somewhere else to vent your anger. Well, Your Highness. Your Highness. Your Majesty. You have to stand and talk to me like a man. Why? Are you sure the prince is still normal? I think it is his nature. Sincerely, my king, I am not happy with what you just told me. Your daughter, the princess, my supposed bride, absconded with a total stranger, and you're not bothered about me. My reputation, my personality, they are all a stick here. Why? Obin. What makes you think that I am not bothered? What makes you think I'm not doing anything about it? I have been working round the clock, trying to solve this impasse. I will find her, and I will bring her back. It's an assurance. Your Highness, she ran off on your watch. You did nothing. How are you supposed to do something now? Enough, Obin. There you go again. I don't like the way you talk sometimes. Are you trying to teach me my responsibilities as a father? It is not only your reputation and that of your family that is at stake here. Mine has been trampled upon and I am badly bruised. My lovely daughter looked me in the eyes and chose a total stranger over me. You think I'm happy? You, 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 you think I am happy? Listen, when next you want to talk to me, be mindful of what you say. Well, Your Highness, you know my father would not take this lightly. So you have to do something fast. You don't need to bother. I will do something. I will track them down and have that boy pay for the embarrassment he has cost me. Hmm. Now that's more like it. Now let me add to that, my king. I will make sure he witnesses Hell, while still on earth. 
mark my words. Prince Chike could flout the decree promulgated by our ancestors by having something to do with the princess of Mwafo. It is unbelievable. We can't be so sure. For all we know, Prince Chike wasn't there to defend himself. Oh, you think the king of Mwafo left his kingdom, his domain to this place only to make trouble? This is the first time such a thing has happened. And it has happened because of our reckless prince. I doubt the authenticity of all of this. What exactly do you not believe? That our prince is that arrogant and stubborn and is not capable of doing this? Are you waiting for him to come and tell you himself before you believe it? This is why I am against him taking up the reins of power in this kingdom. That boy will lead us to hell when he finally becomes the king. Exactly how I feel. We should not let him succeed the king. Prince Shuka is way better than he will ever be. So we are rooting for him. Let us make the king understand this. For us to be sure of peace and harmony in this land. Uh, well, if only our stubborn king will agree. I don't know why he has so much trust in that boy. I wish this sole action of his beloved son will open his eyes to reality. Okay. <sighs> I got a son. Cloth. They? Sir. What is it? Why are you moody? What's going on? I pray he survives this. He might die from this. He won't. Trust me. He won't. Why do we have to suffer for this? I mean, we did no wrong. We are not the ones who created the feud between them. Lipsy. So why are we suffering from it? Lipsy, we might be the ones that will force them into reconciliation. <laughs> My father would rather die than reconcile with the people of Umok Balanri. Lipsy, your father won't stop it if it is destined to happen. You know, for a moment, I thought I'd never see you again after that day. <sighs> Things really went bizarre. I was barely hungry. I know, babe, I know. I'm so sorry. See, I tried. I called. I sent you a lot of test messages, but none was going through. That was because my father locked me up in my room, seized my phones, and forbade me from going out up until my engagement, which is today. I figured. But for a moment, I, I thought I've lost you forever. But I promised. Hmm? You and I forever. Do you think we are doing the right thing? Do you think your people will ever accept me? I would be crazy to say the world, 
Especially after my father gets to know about the crazy stunt I pulled today. Yes. You see, he would rather have my head. But no matter how difficult, this thing will go. I want to promise you that I'll always be there for you. Okay? I promise you we're going to fight our way through this. And I pray we win. Okay? I love you. I love you more. I love you so much. Mm. I love you. I love you. I'll never leave you again. It's been two days now and you've not eaten anything. If you keep on like this, you're going to jeopardize your health. Food. Okachi, are you this insensitive? My son has been missing for two days. No news, no information. And you're here telling me about food? Your Highness, you're the one being very soft with him. I mean, the young man is being a, a, an irresponsible person. If he's considerate and he really loves you, he should be remorseful. He should be the one here uh, uh, asking you for forgiveness and not the other way around. I, I, I just don't know why it keeps getting wrong, wrong and wrong with my son. I ask God every day. Why give me a son that wants to kill me? Why? Oh, Your Highness. Why? I think it's because you've been lenient with him. You keep hoping and praying that he's going to be the kind of man you want. But no. He knows what he wants. He has chosen his own part. Why don't you just allow this man to be what he is? Accept him for who he is and stop bothering yourself. Oh, Kashi, he is my son. But, but he is the son of your wife, your late wife. She was here. And we all remember what we went through in our hands. Blood, they say, is strong. What do you expect? That he would change? He would not because he is totally irresponsible. That young man is exactly like his mother. The saying goes that blood is thicker than water. So, he's just like his mom. Okay, this is Zara. Were you not expecting my call? My God, princess, how are you? Are you okay? What took you so long to call? Is everything okay? Okay, I am fine. Everything is fine. I am fine. I mean, I feel alive for the first time in a long time. Hmm? So, what's happening? How is everyone? You mean the king? Yes. How is he? He's not good. He doesn't say much, but I do know he misses you. The elders are hell-bent on getting you punished for your actions. And how is that fool? Oh, Prince Obina, I really wish you would stop coming here for good. What did he do? He's the one leading the crusade for your punishment. I also think he's looking for you. Um, I, I, I hope he's not hurting any of you in any way. No. My princess, I am glad that Prince Chike came at the right time to rescue you from that clutch of monster. 
I know, okay, Chiki is the best thing that has happened to me. Um, I'll have to go now, okay? Then make sure Daddy takes his drugs judiciously. Okay? And take very good care of him. Chike is the best thing that has happened to me. Um, make sure father takes his medications judiciously and you take care of him and yourself, okay? You don't have to worry about a thing like this. You will be fine. Alright. Bye. And hey, hey, I haven't spoken with you. Of course, my princess. Take care of yourself. Alright, bye. How is your father? He's doing okay. At least he hasn't collapsed. He's still hanging on to the little dignity left of him. They left us with no choice. Although I am not happy with the recent development. But I'm still happy that you chose me. Princess Zara, thank you very much. I wished I didn't do this to my father. Then again, these two hearts beat as one. How can I survive when my heart is not there to pump blood? Chicken, like you said, we have to end this feud between our two kingdoms. And trust me, I am solidly behind you. Thank you so much. Thank you. I am sorry to say this, Your Majesty. Prince Chike is the least of my worries right now. I mean, he has crossed all the limits that I can only wish he doesn't come back. I mean, how could a reasonable human being do something like that? Huh? He did not only get himself associated with the people of Umofo, but went as far as wanting to get married to their princess. That is a big slap on your face and that of our ancestors. Does it mean our ancestors were stupid to have severe ties with Umofo? Does it? Your Majesty, what Unu is trying to say exactly is that such an irresponsible person cannot take up the reins of power of this kingdom in the future. Mm -hmm. He is not fit in all ramifications. Honestly, my king, I used to hold Prince Chiki in high esteem. And I saw him as one blessed to take this kingdom further. But judging from everything that has happened so far, I am really ashamed and disappointed that I will have to review my stand. So, in essence, Your Majesty, what we are saying is that let Prince Shuka be made the crown prince, the person who will reign after you. Because if a man goes to bed with itching a nose, he will wake up with smelling fingers. <laughs> um, Prince Shuka, we all stand. It's no doubt the right man for the job. Although we all agree that he has his own problems, but nobody is perfect. He is the one that sees the value of reality, and I am convinced that he will protect reality than the other one that has no time for it. Hey, that's a humor balanry. Diligently I have listened to your concerns and I must admit they are very genuine. Right here, right now, I decree that my second son, Prince Shoka, 
will be presented as the crown prince of Umabalara Kingdom. An occasion that will signal this will be heard in the next four days. Obuefi, Your Majesty, start early to make preparations for this. Igwe, oh, my no, queen. <laughs> this is good news. As a matter of fact, I've not had this kind of good news from you in a long while. <laughs> you know, I was beginning to doubt your competence. My queen, now you will understand the meaning of that proverb. Wise people will always follow that man that knows where he is going. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the most important thing here is that God's hand is in it. Oh, yeah? Yes. <laughs> Why would he want to jeopardize this great prosperous kingdom that he created by handing it over to a man? that does not appreciate good things. <laughs> you know what? Another alert is coming your way. My queen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and I would love you to convince your daughter Ifunanga to marry my son. You see, I wouldn't want another girl from another household to enjoy the fruit of your labor. My queen, don't worry about that. She's already your daughter-in-law. I promise you that. <laughs> that is good to know. <laughs> Consider it done. Oh, yes, yes. As his only friend that I know, Son Tochuku, can you possibly look me in the face and tell me you don't know where Chike is as we speak now? Ije, it is true that he tells me everything about himself, but on this one, I know nothing. Are you confirming to me, Son Tochuku? That Chike is not in this your house now. Che, you can search the entire house. Mm. Let me take you by your word. But in case you get hold of him, tell him to come home. Some Tochuku, it's important that he comes home. Very important. I know how close both of you are. When I see him, you'll be the first to know Iche. Thank you, Son Tochuku. You're welcome, Iche. I'll take my leave. All right. What is wrong with you, Ifuna? Oh, you are not arguing with me? Mumapu Obwefi Oyome Runandro of Umapalam. Arguing with you, Father. I am only telling you my stand on this matter. This is my life, and what you are asking for will never happen. Why must you maintain such a stand in the first place? Am I telling you to go and kill someone? When did getting married become such a bad idea? It is not a bad idea, Father. But I already told you I have someone in my life, someone I love, someone I cannot betray. Why is it so hard for you to listen to me? Why are you so determined to, to, to sell me off to a total stranger, all because of royalty? Ifunaya, can't you see I'm doing all this because of you? Your future is more secured with the prince. What are you doing with that struggling descendant of a trader? My boyfriend is a civil servant and I am comfortable with him. A civil servant? The ones that carry files and possibly take him bright? Is the one you parade as your boyfriend? Call him anything, but I don't have a future with the prince. Ifunaya, I want you to start in time to get used to your husband, Prince Juka. I have taken my decision, and this, your childish objection, will not change anything. Don't push me, Papa. Else I will call Mother Chuka and make her. Go ahead and call him. He will tell you to do so. Go ahead. Come back here, Ifunaya. What do you think you're going? Any place is better than this place right now. Are you kidding me, Mom? Are you serious about this girl? Of course I am serious. There's no better woman out there. You're right. And that is why I am looking for the perfect one. <laughs> Ifunanya is a good girl. I never said otherwise, mother. I am only making my mother understand that she is not the right person for me. I will not marry her. 
You do not need to love her. You need her. And you must marry her. Do not force this girl on me, mother. Please. I have a woman on my mind and that is the woman I am going to marry. Who is this woman? When I find her, I will bring her to you, mother. And you would understand that Ifunaya is nowhere compared to the choice I made. You don't even know this woman? You're yet to find this woman you're throwing into my face? Mother, when a man sees his woman, something registers in his mind. That is exactly what happened when I set my eyes on this girl. Come on, I have had an encounter with Ifunaya severally and still nothing moved me. Isn't it obvious that she is not the one for me? Can't you please understand? Chuka, can't you please understand my own stance on this issue? Open your eyes and see. You need Ifunanya. Very soon, your father is going to crown you the prince of this kingdom. You will need to marry Ifunanya. You must marry Ifunanya. I have taken my decision and that's final. Get that into your thick school. You are playing the wrong card, Mom. No one can bend Prince Juga. Not even the king. Why have the Joker? Your Highness, I am not happy at all. It has been five days. Five good days. And no sign of the princess. Tell me, are you still looking for her? Or maybe, just maybe, you plan all this to deceive my people and I. Obin, does it mean you are jobless? Or does it mean you don't have something meaningful to do in your father's palace rather than being here? Your Highness, you want me to be sleeping when my bride has gone AWOL. Maybe one fool from the enemy kingdom is banging her right now. Enough! Stop! Don't utter such profanity before me. Sometimes when you talk, I feel like knocking off your teeth. I have a conviction that you weren't properly trained like a prince. Oh. Is this where this has led to? So you now doubt my royal status because of that fool? Aside coming here to talk like a royal vagabond, what have you been doing to help? Should I tell you that your coming here is beginning to infuriate me before you take cognizance of that fact? Are you the one talking right now? Yes, I am the one talking. Are you sure you didn't plan this? Because I find it difficult to understand why my daughter should elope with a man and you're seated doing nothing? You have the guts to come before me to allege that my daughter broke her royal oath. Are you that insensitive? Your Highness, I am really sorry about this. But I am just concerned at the same time worried. I have been doing a whole lot to find her. So um, I, I don't know. Even did you are worried and concerned, like you said. This palace shouldn't be where to be at all times. You should go in search of her. Are you sure you really love my daughter? Or is it all talk and no action? Your Highness, are you trying to insult me? No, I am not insulting you. But only trying to remind you what a man who is supposedly in love should do. From what I see, you're not deeply in love with my daughter. But that's a topic for another day. This fool. You eloped with the woman you love and you went all the way to a worry. Why that far? We needed to be far from this area. Far from those people that planned to make us slaves. I perfectly understand, but you should have put me in the know. Your parents are both ranting and no one knows what they are planning next. I saw what Onowu published online. That I defiled the tradition of our land 
<laughs> that is the least of my worries now. I brought my woman here to be close to her. Then fight the battle. You're right, it is, it is a battle. The Queen has bought everyone over. And they are capitalizing on your absence to make Chuka the Crown Prince. Anyway, I don't want to discuss about that now. My dear, we need to invite your maid over to brief us on what is happening in your end. I will have to do that by tomorrow, but please, can we go to bed? I am tired. Please. and see you need Ifonanya very soon your father is going to crown you the prince of this kingdom you will need to marry Ifonanya you must marry Ifonanya I have taken my decision and that's final get that into your thick skull what is wrong with this woman huh she actually thinks she can detect the pace for me. What impudence. We shall see. Sir, I, I don't mean to be disrespectful, but I'm just being really curious. We need one who really made that fried rice. Why do you look like you're surprised? Tell us the truth. I am surprised indeed. Why? You don't strike me as someone who would go into the kitchen for anything. Hello, mister. I love the kitchen. I love to cook. Guess what? I can figure out how to cook whatever I'm seeing for the first time. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow, this makes me so happy. And you know one thing that comes to my mind is that Chiki, my friend, is indeed a lucky man. You can say that again. <laughs> yeah. Mm. You know, I am born a prince. And Zara here has made me complete. <laughs> I will love you for the rest of my life. Same here. I will always love you. Mm -hmm. Let me get you something to eat. What is she going to eat? Very delicious fried rice. Nigerian fried rice. You're indeed lucky. The princess? A beautiful woman, a brain, and a chair. Oh, you can say that again. Come on, come on, <laughs> come on. <laughs> Chuka, are you not the one that I'm talking to? Where are you going? I just told you. I am going out. What else do you want me to say? Chuka, you can't afford to go out. Today is a crucial day in your life. Your father presents you as a crown prince. You shouldn't be going anywhere. What's that supposed to mean? Like I'm in some kind of cage. No, like this is some kind of bondage. Mother, I am a man who values, who understands what freedom means. I would not allow anything limit that freedom. So, you're going to jeopardize today's event with your stupidity. All right. This is where we draw the cards on today's edition. I told you before I was going out, right? I'll be back before the elders arrive. What is wrong with this boy? Why is he so stubborn? You look very stressed and tensed. 
I, I feel uneasy. Come on, Zara. We've talked about this. Huh? Allow me to do this for us. What if you get killed for what you did? They won't do that. My father is there. Even though he's going to be angry, very angry with me that he wants to cut off my head. But he will never allow anything hurt me. I just want to lose you. I don't want to lose you. I promise you, you won't lose me, okay? I will be fine. Okay? I will. Okay, two love birds. <laughs> don't worry, you'll be fine. Mm. For sure. Yeah, I heard that. I'm going to be fine. Okay. I heard that. I'll be fine. Okay? Yeah. yeah. Let me see you. Okay. Come on. You first. Obuefi, why were you not picking your calls? You didn't even bother to return my own call. I mean, you got me worried. What's the problem? Hmm. I am sorry, my queen. Uh, something just came up. Something like what? Whatever came up, is it more important than my son's presentation? Listen, I hope you're not doing anything behind me. <laughs> you know it yourself that I will never dream of it. Anyway, uh, what about Ifunanya? I hope she's coming here with you. Uh, that is the problem. She didn't come home last night. I was thinking she slept over at one of her friends' place, but that is not the case. What's the meaning of that? I think she ran away. Yes. I don't know where she is right now. I have tried to call all her siblings, but she is not with any of them. This is not so happening. She is meant to be there with my son during the presentation. We must find another way to maneuver that. She's not here with me. And we must not allow the king to change his mind about the presentation. You're right. Well, you have to hurry up and get here before the event starts. Yes, my queen. What's going on with this girl? Something tells me you know the whereabouts of my daughter. She called once, Your Majesty, to let me know she was okay. But since then, she hasn't called and her phone is switched off. And when she called, did she by any way tell you her location? She did not tell me, Your Majesty. She ordered I should not even tell you she called. But who am I? I can't lie to the king. Zara, my daughter has eloped with a man. <sighs> Who knows if she's still a virgin? Give it to her, Your Majesty. The princess is a woman of good character, a strong one at that. She will never soil her real oath. Hmm. Our event king, Ezebubi of Umwabalan, will make the declaration today. Whatever he says will be binding and will be recorded in the annals of this great kingdom. He will hand over this Odukiki to you and you will emerge the next king of this kingdom. Nothing can ever change that. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and I am ready. <laughs> I was made to understand you will equally present your wife to be to us today. It is only right for you to do that before the presentation. Uh, uh, elders of our land, well, the most important thing here for now is the presentation of Chuka as the crown prince. Well, when it comes to the bride uh, to be, I am sure he will organize a more elaborate gathering to present his bride to be. Um, Neil, son. Thank you, mother. Uh, King, please do the needful. Uh, uh, yes. Today is indeed the happiest day of my life. 
Ich bin ja Pizza gefahren. Here we go. <laughs> I humble myself before the revered king of Umoparanri Kingdom. <laughs> May your reign be peaceful. Disobedient son of Umoparanri. You are not supposed to be here today. Says who? Why did you say such a thing? My name is Chikereze, the head prince of Umoparanri Kingdom. Yes. Where did you derive the power to perceive that the head prince of Umoparanri Kingdom is not supposed to sit in his father's palace. Oh, I'm disappointed in you. Is this what you are supposed to be saying here today? Despite what you did? Onyeze, no more Barangri Kingdom. I am your son. Father, please tamper justice with mercy. I am sorry I took the wrong step. But my life depended on what I did. Father, please forgive your son. Father, if you permit me, I will give you the explanation you seek. What nonsense explanation are you talking about? You did what you did because you're in love with a debased woman from an enemy kingdom. You are so pathetic. I wonder why the King is giving you audience. He's giving me audience because he's my father yes. and he understands me. <laughs> when you called her a woman from an enemy kingdom, what do you mean by that? Who created the enmity? God or humans? Do not smuggle Chukokike Abiyama into this. This has been a tradition. Do you know what those people of Umofo did to our people that led to this? Break free from unnecessary hatred and think tomorrow. A time shall come when humans will ask themselves some crucial questions and unite to fight that tradition which is taking them backwards. My elders, that time is now. Hey, enough! Speak no more words. Or else, do not shut the young man down. O king of Umopalanri. He is your son. And I can tell before this crowd that he is right. Are you not Ike Bunam? The Okalamma do Okalammo of Nando. I am the Ike Bunam. Okalamma do Okalammo. Ojena Mado, Ojena Vivian. Ojena Mu, Ojena Mado of Nando. What are you doing here? And when you said he is right, what do you mean by that? We need to be in the matter of tradition. Can I sit down? I am in love with you. No matter what my father says, I am in love with you. Oh, why can't I say we are meant to be together? For peace to reign, we are meant to be together. If love is a crime, then I will be a victim. Cause I'm in love with you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm in love with you. Baby, I can't let go. No, I plead with you. Do not give up on me now. No matter what I'm here with you, cause you are the one I love. No matter what, I will never let you go. So, baby, take my hands and come with me. I give you all of me. And I will never let you go 
So baby, take my hands and come with me. What? I am sorry, my princess. But you cannot blame me for that. I couldn't have lied to the king. Okay, fine. Aside telling him that I called you, what else did you tell him? Did you tell him my location? No, I could not have told him your location because you did not tell me that. But I told him you're fine. Do you think he can find me? He's actually bothered that you, you've sold your real oath by losing your virginity. Are you serious? But I told him that you're too principled to do that. My princess, you should come home. Trust me, he'll be delighted to welcome you. I can't come home now. Um, they said they invited a man from Nando to give them a solution to their problems. So I would wait and see what the man has to offer them. Who is the man? The problem between our people of Omo Balandri and the people of Omo Ofo is older than all of us. Look, do you know the cause of the problem between the two kingdoms? They stole what belonged to us. And our ancestors made several efforts to have them return it. They refused. And in anger, our king then, as a Ilopotif or Blamusu, placed their cause on the people of Umuofo. And their own king, as you told of Umuofo, equally placed a curse upon the people of Umuopalanri. Mysteriously, both kings died the same night. We should give rise to the long lasting unnecessary enmity between the two kingdoms. I ask, can't you stop that? and allow these two kingdoms to come together again? Never. As long as they are holding on to that which belongs to us. The sacred sword of autosy. The sword that empowers our king. The same sword that banishes evil from our land. The sword that is the very soul of Umar Balandri. As long as they are still holding on to that sword, we will never have anything whatsoever to do with the people of Umofo. Your son has found a woman in Umofo land. And the ancestors of both lands have decided to bless the woman in question by giving her that same sword of autopsy as a souvenir for her marriage to the prince. You must allow that marriage to hold. For her to release the sword. Iko, Iko, are you serious with what you just said? Uh, Your Highness. He is just a mere distraction. Can we continue with the presentation? How dare you? No, how dare you say that? You listen to everything this man just said now? Concerning the sword of authors of Umar Balan. And yes, you are still talking about presentation? Listen, Edas. A woman has our sacred sword of authors. I want to get to the root of that. Igwe. What? What? What stupid thing is this? I mean, what's going on? to ruin everything. All my hard work got up in flames. Oh, wait, what was that? What was that that you did? Instead of you to, to counteract that stupid man, that man that was paid to be here today, you kept mute and allowed him to be watched, the, 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 the king. Your Majesty, that man appealed to the highest instrument of authority. In Umar Balanri. Oh, the very sword of autopsy that gives power to the Indians in also. The sword that empowers the king and the very soul of the kingdom. That instrument was stolen by the people of Umofo, and that was the genesis 
that caused the death of the tokens. There is no way I can stop that man when I knew he was speaking the truth. I can't believe you. This is unbelievable. Have you forgotten what we're fighting? We're in this together, so you better start doing something. Your Majesty, this has taken a new turn. We are talking about a feud that has ended the growth of two kingdoms. Finally, we are seeing a possible solution, and you are not happy about it. You say solution? Did you mention that word solution? Listen to me and listen very well. There is no solution until my son ascends the throne. Now you better start doing something. I wouldn't want to fall out with you. You know what that would mean? Move your butt! You have found your son, and I'm yet to set eyes on my daughter. Are you not supposed to be bothered about the crime your son committed? Why are you here talking about a different matter? Listen, my mission here is very important. Thieves from your land stole what belonged to my people a long time ago. Now, if the ancestors of our lands have deemed it necessary to release that same thing they stole to your daughter, then how I will set eyes on her and collect what they stole is the only thing we should be talking about right now. Listen to me. I must set eyes on my daughter to confirm the authenticity of what you said. Tell your son to provide my daughter. It is only then that I will listen to this unrealistic tale of yours. What I am saying are no tales. Ike Bunando Kalamondo Kalamo of Nando was the one that gave the revelation. Now, can you stand before the grave of your father and swear that you believe a man of that spiritual pedigree will travel all the way from Nando to my land to come and claim the ancestors talk to him when they never did? I was very explicit. I will not discuss this issue further until I set eyes on my daughter. Yes. I remember some men once gave me an Asian sword in my dream. Then I woke up, I saw the same sword in my room. What has it got to do with anything? Something just came up and you need to show us where that sword is right now. And why will I do that? I already figured the sword is sacred and specific instructions were given to me by those men who gave me the sword. Why are you asking for it? Do you know where that sword is right now? Of course I do. But trust me, no one can find it or else I lead the way. Damn lady, where is Zara? Our marriage is anchored on that sword. You have to tell me where it is. How is that possible? My father. Hello? Listen, Shika, you will agree with me that this is a very serious issue. More serious than what it has always been. Listen, I don't want to get angry with you, and you know it. I'm asking you right now, where are you keeping that young woman? I'm sorry, Father, but why are you asking of my woman? Her father is looking for her to kill her, and the one protecting her rest of me. Listen to me, listen. I am right here with her father, and in his anger the man has vowed that he's not going to say anything to me until he sets eyes on the daughter. And I'm asking you for the last time, where is that young woman? Then where is the place, you idiot? Where are you keeping my daughter? She is very safe here with, with me, my king. And I will not let her go until you assure me that nothing will happen to her. Are, are, are you aware that I can have you locked up for the rest of your life for kidnapping my daughter? There is no judge that will listen to you because the woman in prison has not told anyone that she was kidnapped. This woman here is my life, and I will not allow the politics of hatred to ruin what we have. 
uh, you know what is it? I will not discuss this issue again. Tell that kidnapper you call a son to bring back my daughter. Lana, uh, Shika, you listen to me. I don't want to kill you. Listen, I want you in my palace immediately. Don't flaunt this order because if you flaunt this order of mine, Chike, you are dead. Chuka, why does it seem to me like you are very useless? You are entitled to your own opinion, mother. But I know what I am doing. What are you doing? What exactly are you doing, Chuka? You see, that man from Nando is a liar. He was brought by Chike to confuse the elders. Can't you see it's a setup? That man will not refer to the ancient sword if indeed he was lying. He knows the consequences. What happened today calls for a sober reflection. So, are you saying that the ancestors gave a woman the ancient sword? That's what he said. And I will not be caught working against ancient authority. But I was close. I was close being presented as the next king of this land, but I lost. I will not push any further. I beg your pardon. Are you serious? Do you even know what you're saying? Oh, you have given up already. Oh, please, please, Chuka, do not provoke me with your stupidity. Listen, my duty is to ensure that you become the next king of Umar Balanri Kingdom. Are you serious with me right now? I mean, are you going to play into their hands? No, Bina. I discussed extensively with my daughter. And she told me that some men gave her a sword in her dream with specific instructions. And that she woke up to find that same sword in her room. As a matter of fact, that sword has come into perspective and has, and has assumed preeminence above every other thing. <clears throat> You see, I don't understand what that means. But are you planning on falling for these games they've started? Nobody's playing games, Obinna. If the truth must be told, you weren't prepared to take risks for my daughter. You didn't take the bull by the horn. That prince went an extra mile for the one he loves. Wait a minute, Your Majesty. Are you considering that idiot ahead of me? I mean, uh, if I must tell you, you're the least of my worries. It has been confirmed that the very essence of Umwa Balanri, the sacred sword of the autopsy, is in my domain. And that is what I want to permanently put Umar Balanri to where they belong. That sword is all I care about at the moment. Your Majesty, I can't believe you just said that to me. I mean, my marriage to the princess is no longer of essence to you. Hmm? I expected you to have read the handwriting on the wall. I want you to leave. I want to be left alone. Ilodibe, the priest of Ulster Shrine, is a man I wouldn't want to see now. Father, did you just listen to what I explained? She can only know what a sword when Ilodibe is present. I want to see that priest. Father, she has gone back to her father. Why would you not want to see the priest? 
Listen, she, he once told me something I ignored. Going to him now will make him feel victorious. You know me. I wouldn't want to accord anybody that kind of privilege. Father, are you serious? You wouldn't want to see the priest that will help us solve the problem because of what you just said? Here, mm -hmm. This woman you are talking about was my wife. And I loved her with everything in me. I am still sad that she died the way she did. Mm -hmm. Because I was expecting her to give me more children after giving me chicken. Mm -hmm. Why are you finally making it appear as if I never loved my wife? Why? Um, Onyeze, I'm Iludibe. The custodian of our secret shrine, the Nsor Shrine, will I lie to you? No, no, no. Ishi Iludibe, we are not, it is not about lying. It is about making wide and extreme allegations. No, why are you bringing an innocent woman into this? Why? How I wish she is indeed innocent. What? Onyeze, her hand drips in blood. The death of your wife was caused by the one you call your wife. Are you seriously telling me that Ukashi was the one that killed Shike's mother? Go to Unso Shrine. Collect the sand on that ground. Take it to your palace. Sprinkle the sand around the areas you know that this suspect will cross. If she crosses it, she will confess. She will confess. You know, but there are certain things I wouldn't want to do. I don't want to shoot myself in the legs. You know, but what is Existing between Okashi and I is very strong. Mm. She already has a son for me. And as, as, as you know, I already lost a wife. If I should do what you are saying now, there is every possibility that she may go mad. I, I wouldn't want that to happen. Because if it happens, uh, the people of Umo Balanri will have a reason to say that I am cursed. The king that will lose one wife and the other one will go mad. They may have a reason to pass the vote of no confidence on me and then force me to abdicate the throne. I, I wouldn't want that to happen. <sighs> Onyeze, a time will come when this evil woman will talk into your face. We make you do certain things that your conscience abhors. When that thing happens, you will remember this meeting. Onyeze okay. has spoken. Just like he said, she is now talking into my face and vividly I just remember that meeting. Father, what are you talking about? Or do I go see the priest myself? No, Chica, I forbid you. You can't do a thing like that. Listen, today has been so long already. What you have to do now is allow today to go in peace. They will sleep over everything. Tomorrow, hopefully, we figure out the best way to solve this problem. Father, there is no reason for unnecessary debates. This case is strict, and if you agree with me... The gods and the ancestors have a hand in what is happening. We must rise like men and face this thing and reconcile the two kingdoms. Uh, well, this discussion has gone on for too long. Prince, if you'll excuse me, I need to talk to my husband. Go with me, right? Right away. Right uh, 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 um, Your Highness, what's going on? Are you walking out on me? 
What has he done to my husband? He has never walked out on me. I wonder what's going on here. My beautiful daughter. The source of my happiness. I have forgiven you for all your wrongdoings. I forgive you for your disobedience. I've equally set you free from the chokehold grip of that relationship with Obin. But all I ask is that you give me that sword to enable me lord over the people of Umwak Balanri. Mm. Is that exactly what you want? To lord over a people who did you no wrong? No, do, do not twist this. Don't argue it, Sarah. There is a reason the ancestors gave you that sword. Exactly. And that is to reconcile us with the people of Umo Balanri. Oh no, don't go there. Don't even mention that. We will never be reconciled. They are inferior to us. The ancestors gave you that sword to enable me lord over them perpetually. Listen to me. Let me have that sword and you will see how our lives will get even better. I am sorry to disappoint you, Father. I will never release that sword in any way different from the way I was instructed. Excuse me. Pick the call without saying a word. I'm listening to hear the garbage you have to spew this time. What did I tell you the last time you called? Your Highness, why are you so hostile to me? Don't forget, I am still Prince Obina from Aki, scheduled to marry your daughter. Listen, Obina, you're beginning to infuriate me. You're, you're getting on my nerves. I have told you that it will not work. My daughter swore on her virginity that she will never marry you. Obina, what else do you want me to do? Latest developments indicate that what we planned will never work. Can't you see? Stop piling on due pressure on me, please. Well, Your Highness, before you cut this call, I want you to know one thing. I have the answers to your problem. I can help you find that almighty sword. I, are you serious? Uh, uh, please, come over to the palace. Let's, let's talk about it. Oh no, your highness. You are the one who must come to me now. Uh, who does he think it is?
What is going on? Why is she not taking her calls? Oyeze. You came with your son. Why did you leave him outside? I left him outside because I wanted to consult you alone. Hmm. The evil woman is looking into your face because he failed to do what you're supposed to do. What do you want from me? You know, we all know how powerful the Insta Shrine is. I wouldn't want to go there without your approval as the priest of that deity. That is why I came. I came to find out if the solution you gave me before, if it is still valid. That is to say, can I still go to that shrine, pick up sand, spread like you instructed? Can I still do that? You are the king of Umapalari. You are free to go to such shrine anytime you need. But I'm afraid. The ancestors have decided to take the bull by the horn and then take, their, take care of the land themselves. I will advise you, allow them to finish what they have started. Mm. Mm. Okay, I want to make another inquiry. I'm listening. As, as the one who sees it all, I know you will have something to tell me about this woman of Omofo. This princess of Omofa that my son wants to make his wife. Mm. I want you to confirm. Has she got all it takes to make a good wife for my son? Oh, yes. Did you consult me? When you married that evil woman who imposed another man's son on you? What? You have no right to consult me over another man's wife. I didn't. Please. Can I understand you properly? Are you telling me here and now that Shoka is not my son? The ancestors of Umopala have you waited in vain for you to do what you're supposed to do. They decided to heal the land. Yes. They decided to heal the land. Now, I would advise you allow them to do what they want to do. If you want to know the paternity of your son, Unyezi, you know what to do. Okamwe, okay, I don't know what is going on. You need to help me. You know, earlier today, the king walked out on me in a way that suggests that something is wrong. That is the truth. Something is indeed wrong. The cloak that covered his eyes, all these years that prevented him from doing what the priest instructed, has cleared. He is now beginning to ask questions. My queen, I feel from my third eyes that your days are numbered. Oh, oh, oh Kabo, you need to do something to help me. I, I, I wouldn't want the king to find out what I did. I don't know how I could help you. There are forces that are now involved in this matter and I do not want to be caught in the middle. But you can't just abandon me now. You can't live in the middle of all this that is happening. My queen, I think I spoke very clearly. Like a man who do not want to be misunderstood. You created this problem by killing a woman. Who would not have been a problem to you, my queen? I do not want you to put words in my mouth. Uh, but you know that she was advising the king. You weren't there. She was advising the king not to marry me. That's a lie. Latent lie. And I do not want to dwell on that. Solve the problem that you created. I do not want to be a part of it. Father, don't you think it's right for you to explain things to me? Why have you decided to see the man alone? And you're not even explaining anything to me. You're not telling me anything. Listen. Chike, 
you are going to emerge the next king of Umar Balari. When that time comes, you will discover eventually that kings don't just speak. When they open their mouths, they utter words that can make Omar any situation. You're now reminding, reminding me what was to happen earlier today. Are you now saying that I will match the next king? It was today that you gathered all the elders in, 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 before Choka to make him the heir apparent to the throne. Never. Choka will never reign as king in Omokbalara kingdom. Really? Yes. Father, what was it that happened between now and then that made you take such drastic statements? You know what, Shika, just drive. trying to dismiss you, sir. But as far as I'm concerned, you're not making any sense at all. How can I possibly direct you to someone I don't know? Besides, you don't even know her name. Miss eh? Melody, I am one of your biggest customers here. I've been coming here for a long time now. You know me very well. I have never asked you of anything. Please, do not deny me this favor. If I may ask, which favor exactly? Miss Melanie, you're right. I do not know her name. That was the first time I set my eyes on that girl. But if I see her picture, I'll recognize her. That's why I'm begging you to pull down the footage of your security cameras on the 11th of March, please. She was right here, right here. She was making that call here. I saw her, but before I could make up my mind to talk to her, she left. Sir, do you know what you're asking of? Eh? Why should I pull a security camera for just an excuse? Eh? It, it, it could cost me my job. Mother. Hi. Miss Melanie. Sir? I'll give you another job if you lose your job. A better one. You don't understand. This woman is my life. She is my life. She means a lot. Something happened to me that day. Something has never happened to me before. Please, I beg you, give me this footage. I'll give it to my private investigator. He would find me this girl. I need to find this girl. I am desperately in need of this girl. Can't you see? Please. But why should you be desperately? Like, I don't understand. You want to see a girl you don't know before, you don't even know her background, nothing. Why? I know it sounds strange, but can you just name your price? Anything, I would pay. For please, I need the footage of everything that happened on the 11th of March in this hotel, please. Since you insist, I will discuss this with management. Call me by next week. Let's see how it goes, okay? Yes. The king is actually very angry. Won't you just give him what he wants? Okay, I can't. Are you not surprised I was the one they decided to give the sword? I was given a detailed information on how to go about this. I can't do anything else. How come you did not mention this to me? I thought as your personal maid, you should share all information with me. What kind of information? Everything. Everything like what transpired between you and the prince while you were in the hotel room in Anwari. Oh, please. That's too personal. How can you even ask me such? Unfortunately, I remain the only one who could ask you that. What happened there? Okay, fine. I... I kissed the prince. 
or should I say I allowed him kiss me countless number of times. Tell me the truth, my princess. Was it just the kiss? Or did you sell your royal oath by doing something else with the prince? The princess of Umofo Kingdom kissed her lover several times in the last week. But she still remains a virgin. That is the only thing I can say for now. My princess. Okay. Hello, my hero. Today is turning out to be the longest day of my life. Why have you not been picking my calls? I slept off. Besides, when I woke up, I returned your call, but you didn't pick. Uh, I was driving there with my father, but we just entered the palace now. Where did you go? And have you seen the man? Yeah. Uh, we went to see him, but my father couldn't allow me to go in with him. He finally came out and um, has not told me what he discussed with the man. I'm just confused. <clears throat> My own father is equally pressing that I give him the sword. Are you going to do that? Oh, my darling, give me some credits. I'm going to let you men do what you have to do. And by tomorrow, if nothing happens, then I will do it my way. What are you going to do? Know that I will never betray you. Bye. Your Highness, you are not talking to me. Why? What is the problem? Somehow, it is beginning to dawn on me that I may have made the worst mistake of my life, bringing you anywhere close to me. Where is this talk coming from? I mean, what's going on? What, where did I get it wrong? Is there something you are not telling me? Something you have not told me about yourself? Something like... Something like what? Something that could fracture our relationship. Something that possibly may make me not to repose confidence in you anymore. Anything like that? Your Highness, it's obvious something is definitely wrong with you. You were supposed to present my son Chuka as crown prince of Omo Balanduki. But you failed to do that because of what is a mere stranger. The stupidity that he uttered, you stopped yourself from doing that. Of course, you know that I am very, very angry with you over that. And that's why you're saying all those things to stop me from venting my anger. I want to finally wake up from this sleep of mine and realize that everything is indeed lies. I want to wake up and realize that you have been telling me the truth. Because I want to be left alone. What is going on? I want to be left alone. Good. If you insist. Oh yes, then. The person you sent to me sounded as if you would die if I don't attend to you immediately. And finally I am here. You are not looking as if there is danger. Oh, yes, then. Oh, yes, then. Believe me when I say that my life is in danger. And you are the only one who is capable of helping me. What do I do for you now? Good. Give me a second. There it is.
And what is it for? My daughter has vehemently refused to show me where the sword is. I have literally turned this palace upside down, and I can confirm to you that that sword is not in this palace. I want you to assist me with that information. Where is the sword? What do you want the sword for? What do you want the sword for, Yeze? You don't need it. The sword has nothing to do with you. That sword must be lowered in her presence by the very priest she has already named. And it will be given to the king of Umopala. And that is what I don't want to happen. I want to be lord over the people of Umopala. And that sword is the only thing that can make me achieve that lofty dream of mine. Uh, Ikebunan, I can give you half a million naira if that is what you want. And you can equally offer your heart on a platter to me. But I, I, Kevinam of Nando, Okalamad, Okalamodina, Mojina, Madi, will never, never go in between the gods and the ancestors. Never! Never! Follow the path of peace. And don't ever invite me to this place again for this kind of thing. Are you living? Oh, you can as well have the money. At least let me appreciate you for coming. Oh, Sarah, since you have refused to give me the information that I need, you have decided to seek help from outside. I don't want you to remind me of your disobedience, please. I am sorry. I did what I did because of love. You will agree with me that based on all that has happened, that even your forefathers are even behind you. No, stop! Do not teach me the tenets of a tradition. You are just a child. You don't know anything. I agree. I am only but a child. But I know that if Chike hadn't rescued me on that day, he would have married me off to that useless prince from Akiye. If I hadn't run away like I did, all these revelations that would bring peace wouldn't have manifested. I will allow the men do what they know how to do best. But if by tomorrow this matter hasn't been handled, I will do it my way. Really? And what do you intend to do? <clears throat> well, there you see, you're, you're actually very lucky. Naturally, I don't do holes. But I'm just doing this shit because my woman messed up tonight. Please, mister. My name is Hilary. Call me that. I don't like it when people call me ho. Please. <laughs> Seriously? Yes. You don't like people calling you ho when you're one. 
Uh huh? By the way, what rubbish name is this Hillary that you're presenting to me? Look, oh, this is Africa. And in Africa, women do not answer Hillary. Please, can we just drink and live here like civilized people? I don't like creating scenes. How dare you? Do you know who you're talking to? Do you know who you're talking to? How dare you tell me what to say and what not to do? Take this! Nonsense! What? Are you mad? Huh? Ah. 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 Over what I just told you. Chuka, there's an issue in this palace as you speak. The discussion over one strange woman shouldn't be an issue here at a time like this. I, I, are you serious? No, Chike, I, I, are you serious? I am telling you that I'm trying to track a lady that I love so much and you're dismissing it just like that? A woman you just met? A woman you just met just for once? Oh, come on, Chuka, spare me that. Please. The hotel management will pull the footage of the security cameras of that date. And I will personally hand it over to a private investigator that will find me that girl. I will find that girl. Take this. You take this. Spit into the bottles and give them back to me immediately. Fast. Father, what for? Listen, there is a gigantic lie in this palace that I'm trying to mask. The saliva will help me trace who the liar is. So if you are convinced you are not a liar, spit into the bottle. Fast. Give me Speed enough that I can use. Just speed fast, please. As we break into a new day, let us break into new things, new things that will bring us life, peace and prosperity. Please forgive the sins we committed in our ignorance and grant us the power to live above sins. We shall be like tomorrow, but tomorrow has no end. Mm. Yeah. Thank you, you will. Once my daughter starts the money like this, I know what it means. How much? I don't understand, Father. What do you mean, how much? <laughs> I know my daughter too well. Once she starts money greetings like this, 
I know you need money. So, how much? I need no money, father. I just wanted to confirm if you will be home today. Because my fiance would love to come see you. Who do you call fiance? That same civil servant? What makes you think I will ever allow you to end up with that civil servant? Who possibly measures two bars of yam with a ruler before cutting the yam? Father, I don't understand what you mean by that. But he is not just a civil servant. He works closely with the governor. And he is the one I love. Anyway, he can come in the evening. I am not going to say anything until I see him. Chuka. How could you be so stupid as to subject yourself to a salivary test? I don't understand. Mother. <laughs> I didn't just give a sample of my saliva to just anyone. I gave it to the king, my father. He said there is a lie he wanted to unmask in this palace, so... Chike hurriedly gave his. So if I declined, he would conclude that I am the liar. I never knew you were not intelligent. I beg your pardon? What are you talking about, Mother? Mother? Mom? Yes? Is there something you're hiding from me? Um, wh where's Chiki? He stepped out earlier this morning. I oh. repeat. Is there something you're hiding from me? Um, how far gone are you with Ifenaya? Who is Ifenaya? Oh no, his daughter, of course. The young girl you're supposed to be getting married to. Da. I have nothing to say to you. Chuka! Don't you dare walk out on me. Mother, you have your problems, so do I. Fix your problem and please allow me fix mine. And let this be the last time you bore me with your sour tale of Ifunaya. Excuse me. Nothing is hidden under the sun, nothing, no matter how you hide it. Why? Why do I have this feeling I'm I'm losing everything? As they are not ready to invite the man, I'm thinking I should go to see the man myself. I figured out that is what you will do. And that's why I came this early. Please, do not go. Why? You... You don't want me again. I mean... You don't want to make me your wife again. Zara, please, do not bring wild interpretation in this. You are for me. And I will not settle with another. Let's just get this things right. Exactly, my love. Exactly. Let's get things right by doing what we've been asked to do. My love, listen. Let's exercise some patience and see what will happen by the end of today. This is not good, Your Majesty. How sure are you? Oh no. I am telling you what has been proven by a comprehensive DNA test. Chike is my son. That shoka is not my son. Oh no, we are not saying anything. Oh, uh, that is because I was thinking. Have you comforted her? I don't feel like confronting her yet. 
because if I do, I am going to kill her. And I don't want anybody's blood to be on me. I am sure you can handle this, my king. Uh, that boy calls you father. I don't want you to send him away. Uh, uh, if he decides to stay. Uh, but of course, uh, it will never reign as king in Umopalari. But the woman must be shown the exit door. No. You know, she's not going anywhere. Because she has another crime to pay for. She was the one that killed my first wife. Did you just say that to me, King? What evidence do we have? I have evidence now. And that is why I came here. I don't want to set eyes on that woman yet. Because if I see her, she will die. Your Majesty, Murder is indeed the highest crime in Umopalaru and beyond. I will advise you do what the chief priest of Unso Shrine already suggested. Why is he here? I think he has come to apologize. He looks very remorseful. He did not even order me around like he always did. He asked to come here. Should I let him in? Why is this guy here? I mean, I don't understand why he's here. I mean, it is over between us. He knows. He even confirmed to me that your father asked him to leave you alone. It's possible he got involved with some people who beat him up. Allow him to come say what he wants to say. Listen, I want to see you and your brother immediately. Is this how you are dressed and Ogi lets you in? You see? Now this is my problem with you. Always acting like a VIP. Now listen, by the time I'm done with you today, you will not remember what he did. <laughs> hey, what are you trying to do? What are you trying to do? Obina, what is wrong with you? Leave now before I call the guard. Leave now! Oh, the guard. The cat. What do you think the cat can do now? Mm -hmm. Tell me! What can you cat do now? You see? Not even your father can save you. Because he has proven to be a greedy man. Now you're listening and listening good. You see, that thing that you have denied me. That thing 
that you want to go out there and give to that fool. I am going to take it today. I will have it today. You do exactly as I have spoken. Remove your clothes. By yourself. I am not going to touch you. Remove those clothes by yourself. Else, I put a bullet on your head. Huh? Are you, are you going to rape me in my father's house? Are you, are you... Am I going to rape you? No, no, no! I'm not going to rape you! I want to get what is mine! What is rightfully mine! Do as I've spoken. Get your clothes off. I am going to count down to when. By the time I'm done, and this regalia of yours is not off your body, I will put a bullet on your head. Five! Four! Three! Two! I told you too that there was this gigantic lie I wanted to unmask in this palace. That's the lie. Your Highness, you sent for me. What? What is the meaning of this? I... What is the meaning of this? Please. Your Highness, please. Please don't do this to me. Don't, don't, don't touch me. Posterity is going to be very harsh on you. Ah! Oh. I should be the one asking you. Why did you do to me what you did to me? Where did I go wrong? Your Highness, I... I killed her. You, you did what? You killed who? I... I, I killed Chiki's mother. I regret. What? I regret ever doing that. Wait, 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 wait. What did I just say you say? You, you, you killed my mother? Yes. And I tried severally to kill you too, but you managed to survive. Hey. Maybe your mother's spirit was protecting hey. you. Hey. Anyway, please. Chuka, Chuka, help your mother. My son, please. Help, help me. This DNA test shows that His Royal Majesty is a, it would be the fourteenth. It's not my father. I am not. It's it, it's not true. It, it. <laughs> Yes, my father. Oh, that, that idiot, that riffraff. You shouldn't have handed him over to the police. You should have bound him with a strong rope and waited for me to return. Father. I would have loved to kill him with my hands. Father, Obina is not the issue. I need to proceed to see that man. And now, we are wasting too much time on this, and it's beginning to affect me negatively. Mm, I see. And what do you intend to do when we get there? Exactly what I was told in my dream. Father, we need peace in both kingdoms. And my marriage to the prince will guarantee that. Chuka. I believe I have been the only father you know. And I am convinced 
I am the only father you have. I am not asking you to leave the palace. You have always seen this place as your home. And this palace remains your home. You are going to stay back here as a son. But I just want you to know that based on what has happened, on no condition, will you ever emerge king in Omopala the kingdom. Shike. Yes, Father. You may call your woman. Ask them to start coming. The errors are complete, as you can see. So, the ritual can take place today. of the queen. She was never a queen. A woman who killed a queen to steal her position cannot be remembered in history as a queen. Brother, do not allow this to get to you. You're still my brother. The king just confirmed that you still belong to this place. Hmm? It's not your making. So do not allow this to bother you. Handing her over to the police. Makes no sense to me. Beheading that woman myself would have meant the world to me. Chuka, no matter what, she's still your mother. She did all that, including attempting to kill me, just because she loves you and wanted you to become king at all costs. And that is what made her a fool. I mean, how could she? How could she nurse the ambition of imposing an illegitimate child on this great kingdom as king? That woman did not just break my heart. She touched the very essence of my being. I will never, ever forgive her. Never. Are here to witness the climax of a series of movements. She will soon be here, and the reality will dawn on us. Oh, here she comes. She is the one favored by the ancestors.
Hello. I'm still here at the reception. Yes, yes I'm standing. Where is he? I haven't seen anyone. Um, okay, okay, I think... Okay, I've seen him. I've seen him, I've seen him. What is it? Father. It is you. Oh my goodness! Father, this is the person I've been telling you about. The one that consumed my heart. Yes. Ah! Hey, 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 young man. What's the meaning of this nonsense? Why are you embarrassing my woman? Are you out of your mind? Chike! Father, sorry. <laughs> This is the one I told you about. She's so beautiful. She's really she beautiful. Excuse me. <laughs> what is going on here? Good. She knew what is going on. This is, this is the love of my life. My father, take a good look at me. It's, it's... Excuse me. I don't know you and I've never seen you before. E e enough. Enough of this. Why are you embarrassing that young woman? Have you lost your senses? Honestly. Have you? Father, control yourself. Father, I am in control of myself. This is the woman I have been telling you about. Give me this woman and you have given me the entire world. Listen to me, yo. You can't have her. She's my daughter. She's here on a mission of unity. I beg of you, allow her to proceed with the ritual that brought us here. The ritual, the ritual is important. Oh. The ritual. Church, are you have lost it. You do have lost it. Careful. You have lost it. You called her. This is not the throne. The princess of unity. You said she is the one chosen to bring peace to our land. We are all gathered here on this sacred decade to witness the miracle of peace. Let the sacred sword of Otos descend and bring peace to our land. Something, something mighty has indeed consumed my greed. On the sacredness of this sword of Otos, I hereby give my consent. My beautiful daughter, the princess of Umofo, will get married to Prince Chike, the prince of Umobalanri Kingdom. Oh. Thank you. I give my consent. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Come. Let's go. Come, my dear. Come, my dear. Come, my dear. Yeah. <laughs> oh, don't do this shit. <laughs> come with me. Let me come with me. Come, just come with me. Father, you, you, you. Come with me. Father, he's. She's hugging him. Yeah. Yes, I'm coming to my He's talking to you. She's gone. Father says, I 